Combustion Analysis and Determination of Molecular Formula What is Combustion Analysis? Combustion analysis is a standard method of determining a chemical formula of a substance that contains hydrogen and carbon. First, a sample is weighed and then burned in a furnace in the presence of excess oxygen. All of the carbon is converted to carbon dioxide, and the hydrogen is converted to water in this way. To determine the molecular formula of an organic compound using combustion analysis and other data, we need to follow a series of steps. Step 1. Combustion Analysis Start with a sample of the organic compound and determine its mass. Let's say it's 1.0 gram. Combust the organic compound in a combustion apparatus to produce carbon dioxide CO2 and water H2O, as described in the previous response. Measure the masses of carbon dioxide CO2 and water H2O produced. Let's say you find 2.64 grams of carbon dioxide CO2 and 0.72 grams of water H2O. Step 2. Calculate moles of carbon, C, and hydrogen, H. Calculate the moles of carbon dioxide CO2 produced. Moles of carbon dioxide CO2 equals mass of carbon dioxide CO2 divided by molar mass of carbon dioxide CO2. Moles of carbon dioxide CO2 equals 2.64 gram divided by 44.01 gram per mole. Molar mass of carbon dioxide CO2, moles of carbon dioxide CO2 0.06 moles. Calculate the moles of water H2O produced. Moles of water H2O equals mass of water H2O divided by molar mass of water H2O. Moles of water H2O equals 0.72 gram divided 18.02 gram per mole. Molar mass of water H2O, moles of water H2O 0.04 moles. Step 3. Determine the empirical formula. Use the stoichiometry of the combustion reaction to determine the moles of C and H in the original compound. From the balanced combustion reaction, one mole of the compound produces one mole of carbon dioxide CO2, containing one mole of C and one mole of water H2O, containing two moles of H. Moles of carbon C in the compound equals moles of carbon dioxide CO2 produced 0.06 moles. Moles of hydrogen H in the compound equals 2 into moles of water H2O produced. 2 into 0.04 moles 0.08 moles. Calculate the moles of carbon C and hydrogen H per gram of the compound. Moles of carbon C per gram of the compound equals, moles of carbon C, mass of the organic compound moles of carbon C per gram of the compound 0.06 moles divided by 1.0 gram 0.06 moles per gram. Moles of hydrogen H per gram of the compound 0.08 moles divided by 1.0 gram 0.08 moles per gram. Now, express the moles of carbon C and hydrogen H as a ratio of small whole numbers. In this case, the simplest ratio is 1 to 2. So, the empirical formula is CH2. Step 4. Determine the molecular formula. To find the molecular formula, you need the molar mass of the empirical formula CH2. Calculate the molar mass of CH2. Molar mass of CH2 equals, molar mass of C into 1, plus, molar mass of H into 2. Molar mass of CH2 12.01 gram per mole into 1 plus 1.01 gram per mole into into 2. 14.03 gram per mole. Now, find the ratio of the molecular mass. Determined experimentally to the molar mass of the empirical formula. Molecular formula ratio equals molecular mass of compound divided by molar mass of empirical formula. Observe how we can write molecular formula ratio of the organic compounds. Molecular formula ratio experimental molecular mass divided by 14.03 gram per mole. Observe how we can write molecular formula with the help of empirical formula. Let's say the experimental molecular mass is 140.3 gram per mole just for example. Then, the molecular formula ratio would be Molecular formula ratio 140.3 gram per mole divided by 14.03 gram per mole 10. Finally, multiply the subscripts in the empirical formula by the molecular formula ratio to find the molecular formula. Molecular formula, CH2, times 10 equals C10H20. Observe given examples. Result. So, the molecular formula of the organic compound is C10H20. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe my YouTube channel Chemistry Concepts with Happy Kids by Samin Mumtaz.